episode of Monday Night Raw recap. Number seven. And all I must want to say is this was an awesome oh, Raw. Oh, yeah. It was awesome. Especially the ending. Um, but, of course, it started off Raw with Braun Strowman coming out with Dolphin Drew. They talk about what happened with Dean Ambrose last week, about him saying, does he fit in anywhere and whatnot. And then, of course, Drew says they uh, broke the shield and two and a third of the shield come out, Roman and Seth, saying um, Ambrose comes out on Ambrose time and... Yep, he comes when he wants to. Yep. So, and... Um, Does what he wants. Was there? Um, and then they were just, and then Roman's like, "Why do you stop worrying about Dean and worry about the titles?" And then it's like, "Oh, you're not, you're not ever gonna get these titles or whatever." And then of course, um, Braun's like to Roman, he's like, "When uh, there's no more Dean, or no more Shield, and you ain't about getting a title from him," and. Um, yeah, pretty much that segment, and then just, of course, it was with Doss standing out, standing out tall, being the best person, so, then of course it made the first matchup with Seth Rollins versus Drew McIntyre for a World Cup qualifying tournament match. And, of course, um, Seth Rollins won mm -hmm. by a count out. I mean, yeah, Drew was out, no, Dolph Ziggler was out there distracted Seth Rollins, and then, let's see. He went under the ring. Yeah, and then, um, Drew, yeah, no, Dean Ambrose came out and freaking... Yeah, Dean Ambrose came out to help him, and then, of course, Drew came and attacked him, and then curb stomp, and then Rollins curb stomped to Rollins, um, McIntyre outside, and then Rollins quickly got in the ring for a count out. So, yep. kind of, Dean was there for Rollins, so, yeah. And then, that was a backstage segment. Dean said from backstage, so saying lunatic time. Dean says, what is that supposed to mean? What, what, or what'd you call me? And yeah. stuff's like, lunatic time, Ambrose time, lunatic time. And Dean's like, oh, all that, so uh, that's what I am, a joke. Yeah. I'm a joke. I'm only good for when you need backup. Okay. Yeah. So it's, star it's starting. It's starting. He might turn soon. Yep. I, want, I would like to see that happen at Crown Jewel. I mean, for some reason, I think it might be Survivor Series. Survivor Series will be, actually, yes, they break up at Crown Jewel, but Survivor Series is when the Shield faces off each other. But, um, anyway, and then Dean's like, you know what, I have my own match to worry about, and he left, and leave the other two Shield looking, wondering what, and was like, like confused. he's like, why is it was Lindsay time, Ambo's time. Them. Was like there. So a bit of foreshadowing of what is going to end up happening later on. Yeah. But on to the next match. Yeah. It's Ember Moon, Nia Jax versus Donna Brooke and Tamiya. I mean, which is actually the first time since we've seen Tamiya come back. Yeah, it's like we're amazing. We we talk about where's Tamiya and where's Tamiya, and then all of a sudden has she been out training? I mean, yeah. Probably because. After Ember Moon and Nia Jax won, Tamina... Tamina and Nia Jax... Had a little face-off, and then Ember Moon's, like, stepping in, like, um... No, the thing with Tamina and Nia Jax was, like, the Hulk facing the Juggernaut. The unstoppable force meets the immovable object. And then Ember Moon and Tamina team up and throw Nia Jax over the rope, because for the Battle Royal Evolution... And then in Moon try to do it to Tamina. Yeah. So that was crazy. Yeah. Go look for that one. And then they had a segment with um 
Ron Rousey coming out talking about the Beltran, and then yeah, but before that, they they were like sneaking around in the back when they went yeah. into their locker room. That was a little weird. Yeah, like they were up to something. <laughs> but Ron Rousey in the ring talking about Beltran's and stuff, how they do what they did. Then they came out, and then they talked, saying uh, they started it. They started it. And then Nikki actually said a good point, no offense, saying that Rhonda kind of didn't deserve that title yet. Like, no, she didn't she earn shouldn't. it. Like, no, she didn't earn it. Like, already didn't get a title and shot. Not right. No yeah, offense. Yeah, and like I said, she just gets it like that. She should have so worked from the bottom like the Bella Twins. So, but her comeback was the Bella Twins are riding the coattails of their boyfriend and husband. It's just that the one boyfriend, John Cena, dumped the other's ass. Yeah. Um, and then Rhonda said, what is she saying about the Bell Twins? That's what I said. No, something else. D something. DB's. DZ something. It was DZB, I think. Don't do, like, DNB, do nothing bellows or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, oof, they're definitely, it's going to be rotten. That for that Rhonda versus Nikki Bella, uh, ooh, I really, well, like, so, like I said, Nikki's been out also, so she kind of really shouldn't get to tell to either, but if anything, I kind of would want Nikki to win because, yeah. I don't know. You know, I don't can't stand Nikki. But yeah, that was that. Then you got the next match, Justin. Next match. Ooh, the Dean Ambrose Dolph Ziggler match. Yeah. For the world, for um, the winner ends up going into that World Cup challenge for Team Raw. Yeah. You were hoping for Dean, but Ziggler won. Why? Why? Because freaking, what was it, McIntyre came out, and then, as you f would know, Seth Rollins showed up, which then distracted Dean, which then had Dolph Ziggler capitalize on Dean's mistake of keeping an eye on Rollins, which cost him the match. He tried to help him back in the ring, but Dean didn't want it. Yep. Pushed him. Then, after yeah. the match was over, Dean stor tried to storm off into the locker room, but then Seth Rollins... Decided, you know what? I'm not gonna let Dean have his uh, private time to let him cool off. No, he started to instigate and started touching Dean and shoving him. Then Roman got in the way, yep, splitting them two up. Then, out of freaking nowhere, Baron Cor Baron ass freaking Corbin yeah. shows up and immediately puts for the main event the Shield versus um. Braun Strowman. Yeah, Braun Strowman, Drew McIntyre, and Dolph Ziggler. Sorry, freaking, I'm trying to remember all the stuff that was uh, that happened that tonight. Hmm. But, yep, and then Dean left. He's like, oh, and then leaves. Yep. So. He was, and then, like, they did have a little thing in the backwards where Braun was talking to them, too. Oh, yeah. Here's a like, little thing that Braun said. If any of the, his teammates screw up, Whoever screws the matchup is going to get those hands. Yeah. And we all know He kept looking who... at Ziggly Wiggly. Yeah, he kept looking at him like... Because he know, cause he's a screw-up. He's always been a screw-up. Yeah. Dolph... Th poor, poor, poor Dolph Ziggler. He's a wuss. But, yep. And then after that match, um, you have Finn Balor with Bailey versus Jinder Mahal. With Alicia and the debut of both, well, not both, just the one, Sing Brothers. Yay, Magic Carpet Ride. Oh. <laughs> Let's all ride the Magic but Carpet Ride. The match was a good match, and of course, Finn Balor won. And after the match, Bobby Glassie came out with his little Leo Rush, saying, Oh yeah, take a good look at Bobby Lashley. Yeah, you want to wish you would be like Bobby Lashley, don't you, Finn? And Finn's just looking at him like, 
And Bailey's like, don't even listen to that. Yeah. Which made to the next match. Bobby Lashley versus Tyler Breeze. And oh, oh my, my god. Freaking god. That he would not shut up. I want to Leo Rush just every every five minutes. Lashley. Lashley. I understand. It's perfect. Having that guy be loud and obnoxious really suits it. And he freaking kept showing off. Made him keep showing off. That's what he's doing. He's making him like No, show off. he's being annoying, Missy. Yeah, he's being a show off. No, it's not being a show off. It's being annoying. And that's yeah, why I mean, everybody loses because everybody wants to say shut the fuck up or pop him in the face, which then they it, it, once they take their eyes off for a second off the big guy, which I think they're trying to replace Bobby Lashley as Ryback. Cuz yeah. he keeps saying the big guy, right? Yeah. Um, and then, but then again, it's Tyler Breeze, and he's wearing a shirt of Fandango. Oh, man, that really, really, oh, man, that really hurts, knowing that Fandango isn't there. Yeah. And he, like, pinned him, like, one, two, three. It was quick. It was over. Yeah. We need Fandango. It was, like, crazy. No, we need Fandango back so they could do the fashion place, and then they could handcuff Leo Rush in the back, and then whatever, fine him or whatever for having a fashion emergency or whatever. That way, there could be a proper match against Bobby Lashley and then there'll be no way for someone to lose. And he like uh, the fashion police? That, that yeah. was a funny team. He, he, be like, he needs to be put in a porta potty. Yeah. She, she seems to like porta potties. <laughs> no, it's fun to watch him get put in a porta potty. I've seen you stand close to porta potties, Missy. You probably you ha must no. have a porta potty fetish. Oh no, ew, that's disgusting. Missy, well, we know you. Awesome. Those backstage segments with um Kurt Angle with um Chad Gable and Bobby Roode first saying, oh, what well, he's wearing is glorious. No, that whatever, no. and then the way Jose, and... No way. <laughs> no way. Jose, and then <laughs> Krangle's dancing, and, um... Of course. Baron Corbin came by him and said... Scumbag. He's like, you know what? I'm going to make you a match. And it's going to be a two-on-one handicap match. I can say OP. Yeah. So, and then there was another another segment, but I don't know where it was, but I know it was before. I had Roman talking with Dean. So, that's why I was, was like, ooh, that's a good sign. Maybe Roman can, like, make Dean think, ooh, it's the yeah, shield. because Seth and Dean were kind yeah, of Seth getting and, heated. Because they were getting heated, just like when Reigns was trying to split them apart. But then that makes the next match, Destin. Ooh, let's see, let's see. Oh, yes. Kurt Angle versus AOP. Which I knew was going to be... Which one I knew it was going to turn out. Because the guy that they had... The, the costume that Kurt Angle was wearing last week, the, go the all-goldish bodysuit costume, I noticed right off the bat, the guy in the ring wearing the costume was smaller... So I knew exactly what was going on. And AOP imme uh, instantly destroyed that guy, removed the mask, and it turns out it was a decoy. Yeah. And during this whole time during the match, Baron Corbin's sitting right there at the, at, um, what is it, the ramp? Yeah. And he's going, where's Kurt Angle? And out of nowhere, like an RKO out of nowhere, Kurt Angle does the angle slam to Baron Corbin. Yeah. That was the highlight for me for tonight. Yeah. yeah. That, was, that was like... Oh. Angle slam out of nowhere. Yep. But then again, technically, Kurt Angle did not lose because he didn't participate in the match. Yep. So basically, AOP did not win at all. Yeah. Technically, no. And then you got... Let's see. And then there was a segment backstage with Bailey yeah. and then the Riot Squad and they're laughing like, and Lip's like, oh my god, be, someone protect me before I get hugged by Bailey or something she was saying and then Ruby Riot. 
talking, saying about Sasha Banks and what is also, Dusty. Also, there was a thing with um with toothpick and uh. Yeah, that's what Trish says. And then, um, that was that segment. And then, then, um, Trish Stratus and Lena came out talking about their match at Evolutions against Alexa Bliss and Mickey James. Which you noticed, Ashley, on Lita, she had more tattoos than... I think she had them before. Are you sure? Because you now, told no, me you, you were checking her, um... Was it the one picture from your, um, was it autograph book? And the yeah. picture, and you said that it looked like Lita got newer tattoos over time. Yeah, yeah but what the heck? Toothpick had a bow in her hair. Ooh, yeah. What the heck? Uh, of course, they had their talks, and then Lita and... Lita and Triss is like, um, you know what? Yeah, maybe they're right, Lita. Maybe, maybe we do need, um... Practice. Practice. Why don't we just go do right now, and... Get letting them come in the ring, and there's and of course, Bliss and Mickey get ready to walk, and then they're like, No, turn around. Too bad. Yeah, but before, they had like their security thing come out oh. with the toothpick. No, no, it was not. That was bad. the Bella Twins. Oh, my bad. Yep. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wow, Missy, you that got that Bella... way out of, way out of hand. Because that's why that was with the Bella Twins, man. Because and Ronda got... Rousey attacked all the securities, and and yeah. it was with ease, even so. though there was how many security? Like four, yeah. five. I mean, yeah, Ronda Rousey is good at MMA, but dog pile. How does anybody you know like withstand a dog pile? But then again, like you said, Ashley, the guys aren't allowed to put their hands on a lady, right? Yeah. Oh, and then there was um, another thing with Kane and Undertaker just talking about what what they're going to do to DX and all that. Oh my god, that's, that whole promo, it felt like Nightmare on Elm Street. It looked like Freddy Krueger's boiler room. I'm not kidding. It was all red and <laughs> yeah, smoky. Yeah, and it was kind of... And then Kane showed his little, fatness. Yeah, a little gross. I can understand Kane being in the boiler room because fire and shit. But then again, Undertaker would have to ha be like in a graveyard. I mean... I don't know. Yeah. But then, of course, I went to that match. The Riot Squad... Well, not the Riot Squad. Ruby Riot with the... Oh, with God. her henchwomen. First Natalia, and Natalia came along with Bailey and Sasha. Because, what was it, mm -hmm. er earlier? The Ride Squad were, like, taking jabs at Bailey in I her face. I told them that already. Yeah, you said that. Okay. My, like I said, my mind's all messed up. <laughs> yeah. Um. And Natalia won by TQ because Sarah Logan uh, came to the ring. Intact. Yeah. So. yeah, while Natalia was was doing her finish. Yeah, Natalia was doing the um the sharpshooter. Yep. And then, of course, the final main event match is the Shield versus Team Strowman. But yeah, that match was awesome. Actually, Even though that two of the members already had been in matches that night. But that. I remember that match already. See? Already see? 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 Raw was too I mean, intense for you. But it you was, forgot. It was, it was amazing. It was amazing. It was awesome. Dean, we, we kept wondering, is Dean going to do things? No, but they were all tagging each other, doing the double dive. Ring. Suicide dive, you know, run. They did shield powerbomb on Drew McIntyre. Um, it was awesome. And then, of course, the Shield won. Dean Ambrose pinned. And then Braun Strowman came in the ring after the match and looked at Dolphin Drew. And he did the move, his move on Dolph Ziggler. And then, uh, now we're behind Braun Strowman's back. Drew attacked him. Yeah. Because the first time what he did was an accident, but because Roman Reigns got moved out of the way. And when he did it to him. Yep. But none the second time, yeah. So they pretty much got to get these hands. So, yeah. And that's pretty much how we're all ended. So, make sure to. Uh, so, make sure you uh, like, 
comment and subscribe for and more. for more and i'll see you next time bye, bye.